Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 18. And today I'm going to share with you five of my favorite crystals and tell you why I like each one of them. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Hit the bell so you get notified when there are new videos out. And if you like this video, give it a pause up uh, for Kaylee. So, yeah, we'll get started here in just a moment. So I have a little help today. I have a helper as usual. She likes to help me with my videos. So does Apple too. So today, yeah, I said I'm going to show you five of my favorite types of crystal and tell you why I like them and what I use them to meditate with and just to emanate energy into the room. Hi there. <laughs> my very favorite crystal. I'm going to jump right into this. My very favorite crystal is clear quartz. But I love something called a rainbow quartz most. And I think it's called other things by some people. But this is quartz crystal that has multiple prisms and fractures in it. Um, I absolutely love this crystal. It helps clarify my mind. It helps me clear my head and it feels like it clears the energy when I use it. I use it in tandem quite often with a Herkim or Diamond, um, which is another one of my top crystals. It's not making the top five today, simply because I wanted to show you some different things, but I absolutely love Rainbow Quartz. I found this on an Etsy shop. No, not Etsy, an eBay shop. And the woman who sends these, they, these have such clear energy. So Rainbow Quartz for clarity of mind, clarity of spirit, um, gaining a clear perspective on what I want to focus on. Now, my second favorite is another member of the Quartz family. Smoky quartz. I love smoky quartz. I have a lot of smoky quartz. And this is somewhat clear in some areas of it. Um, it's hard to see here. It looks very, very dark. But this is, it's a very dark smoky. And while it's somewhat translucent, I can see through parts of it. Um, it's got a very dark color. Now, smoky quartz is one crystal I use strongly for protection. It helps ward off negative energy. It helps clear out unwanted entities and energies. And it's extremely good at muffling psychic chatter, so to speak. Um, those days when your head just won't stop humming and when you can't seem to Ground yourself. Smoky quartz is a really good stone to use. And obviously, you don't need a piece this large. I happen to love large crystals. I happen to collect them. You can use a small palm stone or, you know, wear a necklace with a smoky on it. Um, I also, this ring is smoky quartz too, that one. And I wear it quite frequently just to attune myself constantly with the energy because smoky. Quartz also for me is dragon energy. And I know I've talked about it in my books, but I do work with ethereal dragons, energy dragons. And this one, one of my strongest protectors seems to really love. So smoky quartz, very good for protection, very good for clearing out the psychic clutter and cobwebs. Now one of my other favorite crystals is celestite. And this is a very soft crystal. If I dropped this, it would break very easily. Um, it's a very pale blue. Sometimes it's hard to see. It's almost like ice. It reminds me of glaciers. And it gives me that sensation when I hold it too, just that very cold rush through of, of cool. 
energy and it's clarifying and it works on the crown chakra a lot. Hi. Can we put this on your crown chakra? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, you're a very good girl. You're a very good girl. But I love Celestite to contact what I call the Aurora energy. I work with an energy I call fairy fire, which is the energy of Fae. And I work with like with the wisp that's like um, that crackle in the air. And then I work with celestite, which to me connects with the energy of the Aurora Borealis, which I connect with Uko a great deal. If you saw my video on blades, um, I talked a bit about Uko. So he is Lord of the sky. He is Lord of thunder. He's Lord of the Aurora. Um, the outer reaches, so to speak. So when I really want to go out into the universe to work magic, when I want to project myself out on what I call the web, which I'm not talking the internet, I'm talking that web of energy that connects everything in the universe, I use Celestite. And I usually use it in conjunction with a Herkimer diamond and rainbow moonstone which I will show you next. This is rainbow moonstone and it has black tourmaline inclusions. And I love the combination. Those connected with, connected with rainbow quartz, the three of these are a powerhouse combination. So, so the rainbow moonstone for me, connects me with lunar energy and with the black tourmaline it adds protection and again it's one of those projecting outward um, crystals it also gives me insight into my hidden thoughts the thoughts i hide from myself that maybe i don't want to see that maybe i don't want to face it helps me go within and focus on those. Now Moonstone, again, it's a soft crystal. If you dropped this, it could easily break. Um, so I'm very careful with my Moonstones. And my fifth crystal that I wanted to talk about today is Clear Quartz, and it's got Black Tourmaline inclusions. Now, unlike the Rainbow Moonstone, this isn't so much projecting outward, but it's very, very clarifying for the mind. And for me, it's a writer's stone because the tourmaline grounds me into the energy that the quartz allows me to, to dive into. Now, this has a lot of prisms in it, a lot of fractures. Um, I got this many, I mean, so many years ago, I got this in the 80s. So this has been with me a long time. And you can see all the fractures and the prisms in there. And when I hold it, it feels like it taps into my creative center. Now, maybe other people use them for different things, but those are what I use these crystals for. And I'm very, very much aware of how individualized each person's use of a crystal will be. Yeah, so those are just some of my favorite crystals. You know, the, the rainbow quartz, the smoky, which I'm not going to lift again because it's really heavy. Um, the celestite, the rainbow moonstone with black tourmaline inclusions, and the quartz with black tourmaline inclusions. And you know, having looked at this for a while, I swear there's some smoky quartz in here because clear quartz wouldn't have quite the dark demeanor that this does. So I'm thinking this has smoky in it and it feels a little like it, so probably does. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow on the next Vlogmas video, and I hope you have a lovely day, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.